Hey folks, Moses Woodson here from High Desert Homestead. Today is a windy day. I got a project though. Um, let me take and show it to you. I'm inside the tent. It's a little portable garage, they call it. The other day, George was using a wheelbarrow to take a salt block and different things over. I think a bale of water too over to across the ditch. I'll have to do just video on that ditch. It's pretty deep. But, um, got a couple things I got to do here to it. I got to put a new handle on it. And the handles were pretty bad off. We put a new, um, run flat, uh, tire on there. And, uh, we, we bought it for five bucks. I think I ended up paying $40 for that run flat tire, but it's well worth it. And, uh, we knew the handles was going to give out. We just didn't know when. Looked like he got a little bit too heavy on one side and either pulled it together or pushed it apart and broke it. But I got some new handles. I'm, today I'm going to take the, all the bolts out and get it ready to put back together. So I'm going to take all these bolts out, and show you kind of what kind of what I got new to put back on. There's a couple of these pieces I'm going to have to make. I've got a piece of pallet wood out here. I'm going to see if that won't work. And some of these bolts don't want to come loose. they got old paint on them. I'm probably not going to paint the metal. It's got enough paint and concrete on it. I don't think it'll ever rust. There's some rust spots on there. But i got to make this. And then there's a couple shims that are down here underneath the wheel so i'll have to take it put make those out of pallet wood too and put those on but um it's coming apart pretty easy some of them are pretty hard but i've got my impact i'm gonna take it all apart and see how many bolts i need tomorrow i'm gonna run by grab the bolts i need so i've got most of the bolts out i've got the parts laying here and there and i got this one bolt i cannot get out there's always that one i may have to go get a hacksaw i've got my driver my vice grips it's got concrete on it i think there's always that one bolt it doesn't matter what project you're doing I've got a grinder. Yeah. I remember I got that for Christmas. I may have to break that bad boy out. May have to. We'll see. I don't want to break this. I don't want to break this because it's my template. It's got my bolt spacing on it for all my handles and everything. So. Ah. Back to work. Here's all my bolts, all my fixtures. I need to get another one of these washers to go on the other side of the wheel. It goes between this nut and the wheel. I think they used that as a spacer, and this has got wire wrapped around it. Siliconed on there, or JB welded on there. But we'll get another washer for the other side. This is my bolt kit. I love these little old baggies. We, we get these storage bags and... Uh, Every time they go on sale, my wife gets gets them whether we need them or not. And uh, I use them for everything. I put screws and bolts and stuff like that in them. And uh, I got to make two of these shims. And one of these shims. And the reason it's dried out is bad. It's set out here in this old sun. Dry rotted. I'm going to get some polyurethane after i get it all together um or before i get it all together and i'm gonna polyurethane the the uh all the parts because once it goes together uh, those parts will still be unprotected back at it again here trying to get this wheelbarrow back together i didn't have all the bolts were stripped out on that thing and so i just had to go get some more bolts today it's a bright sunshiny day today so i'm out here after work and i'm gonna Taken. Use this old template. 
drill my holes. I didn't have any clamps big enough. I do, but they're under the camper there. I can't get to them right now. So I just zip stripped it together. You gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna use that as my template. Drill some holes in it. And uh, got my drill here ready. Once I get those drilled, then I, I got some acrylic lacquer. I was I thought about lens seeding them, the, the handles and the, the wood pieces. And then I got this, I seen this, and this was cheap, it was on sale over to TSC and um, I'm gonna try it out, see how it works. It's a rust oleum product, so it, it should penetrate pretty good. And it's just a clear lacquer, it says it works indoor, outdoor, on wood, whatever. So we're gonna try it out, see how it works. There ain't much difference between the coated and the uncoated. Here's a good difference in it right here. You can see right back here where it's run over the back. Probably put a couple coats on it. This is soaking it up pretty quick. Probably nothing to can do. Two coats. We'll let that sit in the sun. We'll paint it again. We'll turn it over and paint the bottom. How many of you take something apart and then can't figure out how to put it back together? Lucky for me, I take pictures. It really helps if I didn't have pictures these phones are they're a marvelous invention I, I take pictures of everything I take apart and I know just exactly how it goes back together particularly when you don't take them apart all the time so I'm about to put this back together all the stuff's dried it looks like it's gonna rain it's just that one little bit old rain cloud though May rain on me. Hopefully not. I gotta get this back together. It's cold out here, as you can see. Ice on the windshield. I don't know if you can see the overcast. It's pretty cold. Frost on everything. It was kind of late last night, and me and Polly uh, finished up the wheelbarrow. I had to change some of the configuration on it because it just wasn't lining up the way I needed it to. It's gonna work out the same, but. I'll show you what I mean. Ta-da, here it is. The wheels offset a little bit on it. We put all new bolts in it. The place where I had to change the configuration was right here. And I still got some gappage, but this was supposed to be here. But because this shim here was not as thick as the one that came out of there, I had a gap, so we put this in between. I don't think this will matter um, overall. So, and we had to do that in order to get these to fit. Um, we lay it down here. These front struts right here, um, if it was lower, wouldn't work. So that's why we changed it and uh, everything else worked out pretty good. The spray lacquer worked really well. It's all back together. I'm just gonna leave the old rusted patina. I had to put some bigger washers in the bed of it just cause the holes were pretty well wallowed out. But, 
there. Got it all back together. So that's our $5 wheelbarrow. Uh, build. The handles, as you can see right here, each handle costs $16.95. And then those shims cost $4.95 a piece. And I had to make a couple. So I probably, for what we've spent on it overall, I could have probably bought a new wheelbarrow. But, you know, um, I like doing projects like this, putting stuff together. Um, the wheel, I think it cost us like 30 bucks, almost, I think a little bit more than 30 bucks. And we spent another 30 or 40 on the handles and the hardware. So I probably got close to 80 bucks in it. I haven't really kept track of it that well, but, but now it's almost a brand new wheelbarrow. It's a run, run flat tire, which I really like. Um, I never have to worry about it going down but we got it for five dollars and we used it for a long time before we ever had to do anything to it so we've owned it uh probably nine months hauled a lot of gravel around here and trash and first one thing another so worked out pretty well so and thank y'all for stopping by remember to hit those thumbs up subscribe if you like what you what you're seeing hit the hit the share button check out our other videos um we do a little bit of everything so check them all out and we thank you all for stopping by and we'll see you down the road